what's going on guys so the video you're about to watch was actually recorded yesterday but the news about Susan Wojcicki was the news I've, I've been wanting to talk about in a long form video ever since I dropped my last video so I'm gonna talk about it here uh, I believe Susan Wojcicki especially during her time as YouTube CEO was very over hated like we all like the like the problems that, that YouTube has had like, it was always Susan Wojcicki's fault and nobody else's fault. And when she resigned as CEO, people were celebrating. But then, after the new CEO uh, came and people found out he was responsible for removing the dislike uh, account, people quickly got to missing Susan Wojcicki, and I'm pretty sure they will miss her even more after finding out this latest news. Susan Wojcicki was one of those people where she just felt like one of those people that would be bringing the community together like if it wasn't for her larry page would not have started google outside of her garage if it wasn't for her youtube would not have been bought by google like she saw the vision in youtube she probably wasn't the first ceo although she might have been i'm not sure but she definitely had a vision for it so yeah susan wojcicki will definitely be missed obviously my condolences go to like everybody that knew her like her friends her family her her, uh, her 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 co-workers like anybody like who's been affected by like her death like like i'm really sorry to all of you guys uh like i i don't know what else to say so yeah susan wojcicki will greatly be missed man rest in peace susan Simon and Garfunkel, or in Gen Z terms, the people who made Hello Darkness my old friend. I consider Simon and Garfunkel to be the best duo ever. Like, they always pushed themselves to the limit, never rushed anything, and always tried their best when it comes to their music. So, in terms of that, and even though their career was like very short, and just like the Beatles, they're still like a very popular group today like even if your career was short it doesn't mean that you can't make good stuff i wanted to listen to a full simon and garfunkel album and i thought to myself for well, there, there, there there's two simon and garfunkel albums that i always hear are the best and that is bookends and bridge over troubled water so i thought to myself okay i'm gonna make uh, two videos on these. I'm gonna listen to Bookend, and then I'll listen to Bridge Over Troubled Water, and then I'm gonna compare the two to see which one is better. Let's start off with Bookend, seeing as it came out beforehand, and honestly, this was a pretty good listen the first time around. I love the opening, uh, the opening songs to the album, Save the Life of My Child and America are both bangers, but then after that it takes a bit of a, a bit of a weird turn, and it's, it doesn't get consistent at all. Uh, Over is, is fine. Voices of old people is definitely interesting. I mean, it's just two minutes of elderly people speaking to each other. There's no like music in, in the background or anything, which is definitely breaking the flow a little bit, but also adding to it at the same time, which is strange. Then you have Old Friends, which is also not a bad song. I think it's way better than Over's. I feel like the harmonies on uh, old friends is much better than overs personally and then we have a reprise of the bookends theme which in in memory is just an instrumental and i don't know why they decided to break the flow with that again maybe they just wanted to expand it but fair play to you for wanting to expand something but personally i would have put this at the end of the album then we have fake in it and then punky's dilemma which are both songs that have the same vibe. It's like, oh, like when you're actually getting in getting into it, it's like, oh, I love this song. Let me add it to my liked songs on Spotify. But then uh, you get more and more into it and then it's just like, oh, this is repetitive and it doesn't really stick out to you the moment it finishes. So remove that from the like songs list. Believe me, that goes for both of these songs. But I will say Punky's Dilemma is a tiny bit better than Faking It. Like, like I can't even remember the chorus of Faking It. And that thing was like going for the whole end of the song. So that's saying something. But I definitely can remember some lyrics from Punky's Dilemma. It's like, wish I was an English muffin. I ease myself down coming up brown. Lyrics like that really catch the ear. I just pointed at my head. But then in my opinion, we have the best songs on the album, which is Mrs. Robinson, A Hazy Shade of Winter, and Add the Zoo. All three of them, I think, were singles, 
So it definitely makes sense why they ended the album with these because singles are generally like the most memorable s songs on the album. Mrs. Robinson is definitely one of those songs where it's very memorable to you after you hear it. Like you hear it for five seconds and it's stuck in your head for five days. And Hazy Shade of Winter is a bit of like a like punk, like funk, like fast paced way to like get the listener back in the groove again. And then we end with At The Zoo, which is just like a cheerful like song to end off the album. And you know, fair play wanting to end the album like that, you know, end it on a positive note. I mean, you're not spending too much time listening to this thing. It's only like 30 minutes. But still, it was a pretty good listen to me. That's just a quick overview of all the tracks. I would give this album like, maybe I'm being generous here, maybe I'm not, but I'm gonna give this a solid seven out of 10 in my books because I feel like this definitely delivered in my eyes and it's definitely an album that I'd go back to in the future. Like I'd actually listen to the whole thing over again, even, I, even though I didn't like all of the songs on here, I would definitely listen to it again and I can see why People say like, oh, it's a good, it's a good album, you know? Can't say the same about Bridge Over Troubled Water, though.